The assault and shooting of two young women at a Portland park still haunts parts of the coastal bend and the lone survivor of that brutal attack, Christine Chapa. Three News anchor Leslie Adamy sat down with this resilient woman to hear her thoughts nearly 10 years after that deadly night and what we can expect with an upcoming new documentary. One of the other big goals behind this documentary, I'm told, is to help people who didn't know Molly Olguin feel like they did. I got the chance to catch up with Christine and her family this week, as well as the filmmaker who wants to continue sharing her story with the world. Everyday things like walking up or downstairs. It's because I hate heights too. Or washing your hands. Maybe something many of us would take for granted, but for Christine Champa. Patience, it's key. It's a privilege and a reminder of how far she's come. Every day is a fight and it's, an, it's a different obstacle and you just have to keep moving. And moving right alongside her, the same strong and nurturing hand that's been there since she was little, there to guide her. How proud are you of Christine? I'll start with that. I'm very proud of Christine. She's done a lot. We've went through a lot with a lot of therapy and um, and she always struggled, but she did. She tried her best to do what she, she could. In June of 2012, Christine's world and that of her loved ones changed forever. A community sense of innocence and a park's sense of peace was shattered. And nearly a decade later, Christine's mission to keep Molly Olguin's memory alive and to be a voice for the voiceless has only grown stronger. Every day is a struggle and I fight every day to be here. It's that same fight that caught the attention of director Charlie Min. I love that saying a setback sets up a comeback. That's Christine Chapa. Min spending the week in the coastal bend filming a documentary about Christine's survival and recovery story. And one thing he says that will not be discussed. And without one mention of the killer, I don't mention criminals like that in my movie. They don't deserve any attention. Min says this was imperative in keeping the focus on Christine's recovery and Molly's memory, a story that he hopes will also raise awareness about personal safety. This should affect any human being, not just a woman, not just someone who is part of LGBTQ, but anyone. I mean, this could happen to anybody. Anyone could be targeted. Anyone could be at the wrong place at the wrong time. Over the last 10 years, Christine has shifted what happened to her to create a platform of healing, and not just for her, but for others. And as for the word justice, she did share it's not synonymous with closure. I think it'll be more just like a concept because yes, I'm glad he's put behind bars, but it still didn't change anything. And she credits her support system for being right there at her side every step of the way even at the most vulnerable of moments. Talking about the attack, it does trigger me, but I know that talking about it too can help others too. I'm real proud of her, you know. She's come a long way and she's doing really good. Leslie Adamy, 3 News. The documentary should be completed by fall. Christine Chapa has been busy juggling school at Texas A&M University Kingsville, studying to be a speech therapist. She also has a book in the works and is proud to report she is engaged. Congrats to her. Keep fighting on.